Let's say you've not paid your bill and you need to get on your horse very quickly early in the morning. How quickly can you do that and make your escape? And also, what are the sort of things you need to be looking for when putting a saddle and a bridle on a horse? Good boy. Here we go. Good boy. Walk on. Walk on. Good boy. Walk on. Good boy. Here he is. This is Ghost, fresh from the stable. He's not too dirty, and therefore, normally I would brush him down, but uh, maybe I don't need to do too much at the moment. So, what you need to be careful of is for example, when the saddle goes on here, there's a lot of pressure on the back here and the front here. You wanna make sure there's no bits that are gonna stick in to the horse. And under here as well, you just need to make sure it's smooth where the girth is going to go. You need to do it on both sides. You can do this with a brush, which is more traditional, or you can run your hand over it. I usually run my hand over the horse after I've brushed him as well, just to check because the fingers can pick up lots of um, grit better than other things. That's it, both sides. He's now ready to saddle up, but also where the bridle goes, you can just check there's no mud. If he's come in from the, from the field, of course, he's going to be absolutely filthy. And if you were doing something more formal, you'd groom him and brush his mane and tail and all that kind of stuff. But for the purposes of this, it's just sort of how you would get him ready to go. You'll notice he's in what's called a head collar to begin with. So he's just got something that's going to, well, allow him to be controlled. He's actually pretty good, probably doesn't even need this. So here's the bridle. The bridle has two ways round it can go. <laughs> you can get them inside out sometimes as well. Good boy. Head up, good boy. But what you want is the the rider's gonna go on like this really in the reins. So the reins just slip over his head. With the head collar on, you then loosen the head collar and do it up again like this, because you've still then got control over him. And then holding it in your hands like this, you use this hand and the thumb to make him open his mouth and slip the bit in over his ears, over his ears, sort out the mane, make sure that's nice and smooth. It doesn't really seem to affect the horse very much, but it sort of makes me feel like it ought to be uh, smooth for him for his comfort. And I'm just gonna do up the loose curb chain. The curb chain hardly has an effect. If you notice, I can move the bit quite a lot without it affecting the curb. And even if I pull quite hard, it hardly even feels on my finger. It just gives him some pressure here because that's how he's been trained. That's it, adjust this. And he, once you do the throat latch here, he's more or less, he's bridled up. I'm not doing this quickly on purpose. And then you would take the head collar off or leave it on, quite frankly, if you want to take it with you. And you can put that elsewhere. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Now, with this particular medieval saddle, I use a thick felt pad to go underneath it. So that just goes over on his back. Come on, back up. Back up. Good boy. This goes over there. The saddle should fit behind his shoulder blades here and here. So it's even on his back. You can see it's shaped a little bit to fit his back. That's just through wear. And then we'll get the actual saddle itself. This is my medieval saddle. Pull the blanket up into the gullet of the saddle. There should be no pressure on the horse's spine at all. A saddle is designed to spread the weight either side of the spine. There should be no pressure at all. Good 
boy, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. This is the other side. You see the medieval saddle and the double girths there. And then I will come around this side, do them up. Good boy, stand. Good boy. Last check. Seems good. Good boy. Come round. Come round. Good boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. And you just jump on, check the girth, and off you go. Now, I was talking then, and I think you could probably do it a bit faster if you were rushing. But that's the basis of medieval saddlery. You want horse comfort first. If you're going to ride this horse for a day, you'll want to check there's nothing galling it, making it sore under the saddle. If that happens, you might not be able to ride the next day or quite a few days, if not weeks while the horse um, heals and you can leave marks as well. So there he is, tacked up fairly quickly and ready to go. Now I'm gonna untack him and I'm gonna stop talking and try and get him ready as quickly as possible <laughs> just to see what I can do as a speed getaway. Right, let's have a go. I'm making my getaway early in the morning. I haven't paid my bar bill and I've got to get away from town quickly. Three, two, one, go. Good start. You'll notice I've left the head collar on this time. It's just quicker because I need to get away as quickly as possible probably could get away with not doing the throat latch up but anyway still got to make sure I can gallop far reins are in the wrong way round I am and I could get on stop the clock I don't think that was many seconds just shows you if you needed to you can make a rapid getaway on the horse what I would do after that gallop out of town or trot or walk quietly depending on whether the town watch is active and the gates are locked but make my exit get a few miles outside town just stop and check that the horse is comfortable and everything's set up, sitting right. Maybe, maybe take the head collar off as well uh, to make it more comfortable, stow it, that kind of stuff. So it's really quick. If your saddlery and tack, your bridle and saddle are somewhere to hand, which they probably would be in, in, a, in a stable where there's a livery stable, you'd have it right next to the horse. You can get away very, very quickly, assuming the horse isn't filthy. And quite frankly, even if the horse is filthy, you can put this stuff on, get away, get a few miles down the road, and then check that it's not got any problems and uh, re reorganise and then go for your long adventure. Ah. <laughs>